How's everyone doing? I haven't uploaded a video in a very long time. I believe the last video I uploaded was about two months ago and that wasn't necessarily something I've uh, done. It was um, a lesson by uh, Jimmy from uh, the um, Discord channel. Um, Heirloom project I believe. Actually even before that it was a different uh, Discord server. But anyway, uh, the point is I haven't done a video at all. It doesn't mean I've stopped drawing or anything like that of the sort. I have been drawing, although I want mostly on um, pencil and paper uh, in a sketchbook. The problem is I could I don't know how I could go about recording that, and actually where I could post that kind of thing. I really don't want to post it on something like DeviantArt or Instagram. Um, and even if I did, I, I don't think a lot of the stuff I, I've drawn isn't that good enough. Uh, not that I'm saying that what you're seeing right now is good content. <laughs> Um, so, um, by the way, the, what you're seeing right now is a webcomic of an of another webcomic I've done while I was in still in uh, high school. Which um, that webcomic only had, I believe, three or four panels, and this one is more of an extended version, uh, years after the fact. Uh, there's a couple of things that's um, different uh, with what you're seeing in the video compared to what I've actually finished. Um, one of the panels is completely uh, swapped with a different one because the original one had a pa uh, had a shot with, peop with the people dying of... Um, just dying basically and the um, fourth panel... Uh, and sorry, uh, yeah so there's that and there was also um, uh, additional uh, tweaks here and there. Uh, overall I'm quite actually happy considering the fact that this, this wasn't a serious piece. I never want, I meant it to be a serious piece. It was one of those things where I felt like I needed to do something I, and everything I was making was pretty rubbish. So I figured, um, hey, if I'm gonna uh, draw something rubbish, I might as well make it the best r rubbish piece ever, right? I'll even record myself drawing it and even r do a commentary over it uh, to say how good it is or bad it is, either one. <laughs> anyway, um, where have I been? What have I been doing? I've been doing uh, mostly real life stuff. You know how real life gets in the way, and yeah, just doing that kind of thing. But the sketches I've been doing is mostly of people, um, uh, portraits. Uh, I haven't done a self portrait um, yet, uh, although that is something I would like to do at some point. Um, in terms of the digital sketching and kind of thing, uh, besides this comic here, a lot of it has mostly been value studies, uh, trying to understand how to do proper value studies and seeing. Uh, I suppose uh, I suppose it's wrong to say that uh, trying to see the world in sort of grayscale because technically that's not what values is. It's more about how a light source interacts with the forms of whatever scene you're looking at. But one of the things I'm having quite some difficulty is wrapping my head around how local value and how light interacts with local value. Basically, uh, if a, if a, let's say a cube has uh, whose uh, the hue of a cube is red, um, if you were to convert it to grayscale, you'd notice that it'd be like the like the mid-tone grayish color, I guess. At least from what I've uh, seemed to uh, find when I'm experimenting and when you shine a light that would how it w the light would shine on a cu red cube would be completely different com if you were to shine the light on, so on a, let's say a white cube you know the, uh, I, believe, I think the white cube would reflect back more uh, light compared to the red one as it's up to, up to, since the red one would absorb a bit more because it's a darker value uh, there's that and there's also the fact that I'm actually really having some trouble with actually do, um, doing edges uh, it seems like there's a certain point when you go, go when you do digital painting where lines don't exist anymore, and what you're left with is do is edges. Um, and from limited from the small amount of research I've done, there isn't really a lot of guides or guides or resources available that explain how explain technique why like in terms of technique how you would do certain edges and when you would use certain edges and that kind of thing. Maybe there is some of that stuff out there and I just haven't been looking for it. I haven't been looking well enough but 
I, I, uh, yeah, it's something on, I, I'm keen on actually f figuring out. But generally, what I'm trying to do is, um, I believe I've got the basics down uh, in terms of proportion, proportions, and roughly where things should be into uh, with uh, people's faces. And what I want to do is actually, how can I get that painterly sort of digital look? Um, and avo and basically move away from having an outline because I kind of like that sort of not realistic but semi-realistic natural and mm, sem mm, that sort of realistic naturalistic look of uh, of uh, pictures um, yeah so that's sort of the uh, thing I'm uh, trying to achieve uh, what I like to achieve at, at the end of the uh, at the end of this. Um, uh, other than that, there isn't really much I've been doing. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Aurora, uh, music from this uh, singer called Aurora, and my God, she's really good. She's really good. I really like some. Of, uh, I really like how uh, she projects her voice in some of the uh, in, in some of her songs. Um, um, uh, I suppose I. Uh, been playing a lot of few games. I really need to get back to finishing Witcher 3. Uh, this is the point where I'm running out of things to say. So uh, I'm just there's a lo another last thing before I, I cut off. Uh, let's see, I cover the things that are comic uh, ramblings. What I want to do. Nope. Generally that's it. I bought a couple of pencils, pens. Oh yeah. Uh, they've got a new addiction now, and they're just buying art supplies, but I guess that's everyone gets that now, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to cut this off. Talk to you guys later.